I, Anthony L. Goldmore, president and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association, here to bring you another exciting Black Buddhist lecture. It is important that you have Black Buddhist teachers. In the Buddhist religion, it was Asians who colonized the Buddhist religion. Now, let me relate this to our vision of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. We practice Buddhism unaffected by colonizers and Asians who have not only appropriated the Buddhist teachings, Asians especially, our Japanese teachers, have extricated all black history, culture, and language from the Buddhist teachings. Please understand that the Africans who call themselves Kushites left Africa in several civilizations all over the world. White people do not tell black people that the Native Americans who Columbus mistakenly called Indians were black people who were already in America. White races do not wish to admit that black settlers traveled to the Americas hundreds of years before any white man, white man ever reached America. Whites and Asians hide the fact that Africans departed Africa for Asia and they set up civilizations all around the world. The word India means black and it was known in ancient times as the Indus Valley Civilization. A recent anthropological study reveals that humans, known as whites or light-skinned, did not emerge in Europe until 8,000 years ago. It is important that you have black Buddhist teachers. My lecture today is Hindu Vedas in Sanskrit, the birth of white supremacy and racism. See, Shaka means foreigner in Sanskrit. What you must understand is how did India, a black nation, come to be ruled by white skin and develop a caste system? Just Google the Kushan Empire. This is the history, whereas for the first time in human history, India, a black nation, was conquered by Indo-Aryan or white people. Please understand that four branches of white people or Indo-Aryans came into the India. This is why we have four branches of the Shakas that came to India and the number of Vedas are also four. You see, the teachings of Hinduism or the teachings of these white people are false teachings called the Vedas or they're called the Hindu Vedas. These white people or Indo-Aryans haven't conquered black people in India. They created the caste system. The white people who came to India created what is called the Vedic culture. Vedic culture is the teachings of the Vedas, which later became known as the Hindu Vedas. Vedic Brahmins created a myth in society. If you go through grammatical literature, we find nothing except myths and illusions all through. The Vedics are rather the Hindu Brahmins who occupied the apex of the social pyramid or rather they who were in charge of India could not tolerate their historical inferiority because they knew that if people came to know that the Brahmical or the Hindu culture came after Buddhism, their Vedas, gods and goddesses would show them as inferior to Buddhism or to black people. So the Brahmins or rather the Hindu rewrote the history and they composed lies and fraud. One such fraud is the Aryan invasion theory whereas they write about some super white men who came into India and they write that there was a thousand year war called the Manavata whereas whites conquered the India's black people and put them 
and a caste system. This false story is the basis for white superiority and racism. This is what all black people should know about Buddhism. Genetic signs recently reveal that the caste system began only 1900 years ago. What else happened 1900 years ago? This is the time in history where Indo-Europeans, or rather the Kushan or the white people conquered India. Evolving concurrent in India with the caste system was Mahayana Buddhism, a new Buddhism created by the Brahmins, or a white Buddhism separated by race, culture, and language. Just a few hundred years after Mahayana Buddhism disappeared, in the Gupta era, a from Mahayana Buddhism evolved the golden age of Hinduism. This is known as the Vakam era or is associated with Chandra Gupta Vakamdiya, a king of the Gupta dynasty. This was the golden period of Hinduism. It is called so because Sanskrit was made the state language in place of Pali, the language of the Buddhists. So you can understand the Vakam era is associated with the extermination of Pali and replaced with Sanskrit. This is when Buddhism totally died. People could not speak Sanskrit. You could not promote Buddhism in Sanskrit. Only the Mahayanas or the Brahmins could read Sanskrit. Sanskrit was never a spoken language in India and the people could not learn Buddhism because it was spoken in Sanskrit. This is one of the ways they kill Buddhism in India that Buddhism divided itself into three different systems. What all black people should know about Buddhism is that of Sanskritization. Sanskritization was used to extricate all black history, culture, and language from the Buddhist teachings. While there exists not one shred of archaeological, anthropological, literary science, genetic science, or linguistic science of white people, Aryan culture, Hinduism, or Sanskrit in India and to the Buddhism, it was taught to us not only by our Japanese teachers, but it is written that Hinduism is the world's oldest religion and Sanskrit is the world's oldest language and we read about the falsehood of the Vedas and about the Asian Aryan invasion theory in India. You see, what black people do not know about Buddhism is the relationship between Buddhism and Africa. Not only does science prove that all humans come from Africa, we have conclusive evidence of Africans called Kushites who travel and set up kingdoms around the world. This is what all black people should know about Buddhism. The black Buddhist teachings were not only taken from the Buddhist teachings, whites and Asians took Buddhist teachings from the world history. This was done to promote white superiority and racism. British historian Sir Godfrey Higgins wrote about, wrote that all the Western mythicies comes from the Buddhist religion. You see, in order to promote white supremacy, white historians had to characterize black people as primitive, uncultured, uncivilized, and uneducated in order to prove white supremacy. Black 
Buddhist history had to be extricated not only from Buddhist history, but black history had to be extricated from world history if white people are going to perpetrate the fraud of white superiority. You see, I am Anthony L. Elmore, president and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association, bringing you another exciting Black Buddhist lecture all ancient icons show a simple fact They all show that the Buddha was black I believe in facts and the Kato was wrong Buddha was no error